Welcome back. Rich Abney joins us now with sports and huge day in local sports. That it was. Yeah, thanks, Aileen. It's been a long, long wait for the community, but today the new ownership group of the Cougars was introduced to the fans. They're calling it a new ice age as local businessman Greg Pocock has teamed up with former Cougars Eric Brewer and Dan Hamhuse, along with a team of local investors to bring a winning culture back to the city of Prince George. They're calling it the dawn of a new ice age, as today the new ownership group of the Cougars was introduced to the community. There to greet them, a huge turnout of Cougar faithful. This is a, a team we own, but it's not our team. It's a Prince George team. It's the Prince George Cougars, and it's owned by the community. And, uh, you know, we're just looking forward to people coming out and supporting it. Greg Pocock and his Edge Pro team of investors, including Eric Brewer and Dan Hamhuse, stressed the hope that the CN Centre would return to one of the most intimidating arenas in junior hockey. Hamhuse remembers how those crowds would motivate the Cats during the glory years. The building was full, the crowd was energized, and um, they made it tough for other teams to come in here and play, and it uh, could just completely energized our group and our dressing room, and uh, it was always a lot of fun. Having former Cougars and current NHLers has been nothing but positive for Pocock. Well, Dan and Eric have been just unbelievably good, um, energized, excited, uh, passionate, um, uh, engaged. They, they, you know, we talk on an ongoing, almost daily basis, uh, new ideas, concepts, uh, thoughts they have. Brewer spoke to the crowd via video while Hamhuse was in attendance and received a standing ovation. Certainly be a huge fan of it following it along and um, it'd be great if our schedules worked out to catch a game uh, in Vancouver when they play the Giants. Um, you know, as time allows, I'd like to be uh, looking forward to training camp in August and maybe participate a little bit and at least meet some of the players and just get to know them and hopefully relate a little bit, relate a little bit of my experience uh, of junior and um, help prepare them for hopefully pro sometime. Hamus is hopeful he can contribute right away to the franchise and to the young players. Having fans in the stands is going to lead to wins. We're not counting on that being the only thing, but you know we had a lot of one goal games this past season. We had a lot of overtime losses this past season. We believe that had we had full crowds, some of those would have been wins. There will be a fan experience here like never before. An estimated 1,500 people cheered and stomped their feet, something Pocock hopes returns full time to game nights. We have absolute faith in our coaching staff. Uh, Mark has done a phenomenal job with the kids, and uh, we think the future's bright. Pocock is confident in the current coaching staff, as the on-ice product must improve. I think this team's built for you know next couple of years here. I think we've got a chance to do something really well. Um, got a chance to meet our scouting staff uh, last week in Calgary, and um, some great guys. Todd Harkins leading that group, and now we're in the process of searching, uh, searching for a GM to round out that uh, group. So as the dawn of a new ice age begins, Hamuse is confident in the makeup of the team and believes winning hockey is on its way back to Prince George.